Greetings, I am Harry Larry from Gary, and this is episode 1182 of The Sims 4 Gallery Lots, and this particular lot is called Copper Cabana. It is on a 50 by 40 lot type residential, and boop, there is a description you're more welcome to read. While you're doing that, I'm going to go through these photos, see if it does the lot justice. First two do. Oh, actually, that's a very good photo. As with that one. Impressive. You very rarely ever see that on the build for uh, the photos on these. That's really cool. All right. So. Let us go take a look at the real thing here. Boop. And we'll do that right now. Alright, so when I was on this creator's uh, page of their own personal gallery, I noticed they have this lot up twice. First one is a little bit smaller and a little bit of a different description. And both the descriptions I enjoyed really reading. That was really kind of cool. Anyways, the first one is how many megabytes smaller? Like 20, something like that. Alright, let's go down, take a look around. And so I do not know what the difference is. If you end up by uh, downloading both, you're more welcome to put it in the comments. Or if the creator watches this. I suppose we'll uh, take one of these paths and walk around the house and then we'll go to the inside. This lot is playable. There was only one thing I found that you might want to fix. And I'll show you that when we get to it. But first I wanted to take a forward view of this. Ooh, definitely have to come back a little bit. That looks pretty cool. Alright, let's go down. And we're going to go left. Treat. I don't know about you, but I always like this right here. Hey, Wagon. Hmm. So let's go take a look at the pool here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And yeah, 
yes, there's a bunch of gnomes everywhere in here. I was thinking this might have been in an, uh, for an ocean front, but now I'm kind of wondering it might be a desert a cabana. Or at least a touch of a uh, desert. You get chickens and chicks in the chicken coop. I don't remember how many for each, but you do not get a rooster. See one, two, three, four, five, six. There might be a couple missing. Two, four, six, seven. Anyways, for sure you get three chickens. And you get eggs right in the hen house right away, too. They weren't like that, but they were eggs. And now this phenomenal garden. I was going to talk about this. They got almost everything in here. This is a phenomenal garden that took a while to make. I always like appreciating that. I suppose I could take a couple of seconds and show you what some of these are. As you can see, there's some edible and some not edible. But you almost get one of everything, so that's always nice. Alright, back to the tour. And if you want to find out what else is in that garden, you'll have to find out for yourself. Can't show off everything, can I? That looks really nice right there. Oh, it looks like there was a back door. That is a very pretty little front room. Alright, so the one thing that you might want to fix is you cannot sit in any of these chairs or couch. And it's all because of that. 
Now if you move it back by one, you'll be able to get inside. But then you won't be able to light your fireplace. You could light your fireplace first and then move that. Or you can make this smaller by one and move it half a grid. We'll give you enough room to get in there. That's pretty... I definitely like the hanging plants in here. Alright, since we're not going upstairs yet, let's go take a look at the dining room and then the kitchen. And whatever's off to our left, or I mean right, the kitchen looks really cool. Wow. Alright, let's go take a look at the kitchen. So if you if that does bother you, I think that's part of the tree. You could always move the tree forward a little bit. And you should be still be able to get past on the path. No, you do not get the French toast. Sorry. Can't remember who made it. He did, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, I do believe it was, she was the one who made it. Because Lars went up into the fake uh, lighthouse. Or fox. For those who do not know, if you put a laptop on here on one of these type of tables and while in game mode have your person click on to that laptop and play with it, they will sit down on the floor in front of that table, put their legs in underneath it, put a little blanket over their legs and play on their uh, laptop. I like this little sitting room. and. Coffee table is not in the way. You can sit there. Well, I definitely like all the plants in here. And that was the back door. Alright, that minor mystery is solved. I bet you didn't even know it was a mystery. Looks like another one over there. Was it a mouse or a tree? Neither. It's a little kitty cat. Huh, that is cute. I've seen the little mouse one before, but I don't think I've seen the little kitty cat. Now, is that a dog? That'd be really cool. Nope. Okay, I'm done looking at the stuff on the floor. Let's go upstairs to the second floor. Unless I see another one on the floor. Mm. You know, curiosity. Mm, that looks really cool. Huh, that's unique. Okay. Let's go this way. That is definitely a pretty looking bedroom. Definitely like the pictures.
take a little closer look at them. And on this uh, painting here, it was the crater's name. So whatever Sim did that. Ooh, I missed those. Er, that looks cool. little bathroom. What is that thing? Oh, washer and dryer. Duh. <laughs> Guess I don't get to see it from the side very often. And yeah, hold on a second. Yes, I am waving. You're a more than welcome to wave back. So that's what the washer and dryer look like on the side. <laughs> oh, we got ourselves a deck. With a nice view. Nothing on the deck, but you can always put some up there. What would you put? put a barbecue there. Maybe a treadmill. Ooh, that'd be a good spot for a treadmill as well. Alright, so let's go upstairs to the, what, third floor? There is not much here on the third floor. But we can get up to the fourth floor. Hopefully I can... The camera will uh, obey me. Okay, we are up a smidge. But we can go like this. Da -da -da. Okay, do not have your sim uh, stand right there. Their toes might get chopped off. That would definitely be unique if that really happened. Anyways, so that is your little outlook. And you do get a pretty good view of everything. Okay, that view wasn't as good, but you get the pool. Yeah, that was a very pretty lot. Alright, let's go... To Take a closer look at this build. Okay, now let's kind of try to take a closer look at this build. 
And as always, if you end up enjoying this lot and or video, you're more welcome to give it a thumbs up. To those who are subscribed, thank you very kindly and hope you keep on enjoying my content. And of course, watch your videos. <laughs> Let's see, come over a little bit right here. Those of you who enjoy my content and not a subscriber yet, you're always more welcome to subscribe. I like that look right there. Let's bring it over a little bit. Ooh. Ah. <coughs> All right, I've wet my whistle, I'm good to go. Anyways, as I was saying, those of you who enjoy my content and are not a subscriber, you're more welcome to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button or, and or bell, whichever you prefer to say. And why would you want to do something like that for? Well, normally I publish three videos a day, two from the Gallery Lodge and one from Maxis. And, of course, if you have anything to say, you're more welcome to put it in the comments. Yeah, that looks cool. If you're also more welcome to share this video. the most important thing of all. Uh, please take a look at this creator's other creations. They have a small catalog, but that's all right. for a top-down view. And there's no problem whatsoever with that ceiling. It's always a nice thing to see. Go down the floor. Like I said, there is not much right there. Ooh, I'd probably put a little Roomba right over there in that corner. Just because. And right there, there's no problem with that ceiling as well. start over here. Yeah, that is cool. Any other ceilings? Yep, one last one. And, as you can tell, we had no problem with that ceiling as well. And let us go on down.
Alright, let's take a look at this grounds a little bit if we can. These trees will be in the way for some of it, but not all of it. Definitely like the garden area. Actually, I like this whole lot. And there is no basement. Alright, let me see if I can find a pretty cool spot to showcase this on. Hopefully I can. I kind of dig that a little bit. You can almost see everything. Yeah, actually I think that might work. So, hopefully I'll catch you on the next episode, and until then, later.